What is going on, Guardians? Live for happiness here. I know I got this is going to be a long video. But I wanted to teach you guys a little bit about the Prison of Elders level 34. You got the three waves on this pain in the ass one right here. Uh, wave 1, kill all the enemies. Easy. Wave 2, defuse the splinter mines and deal with these fucking annoying ass arc burning wizards and this dumbass glitch where I just randomly teleport, I don't know, into a cursed thrall and die. I don't know. But that round is also easy. The hard and most pain in the ass round is the final round. Or final wave of this round, round four. Diffusing the splinter mines, you gotta deal with tons of fucking stuff that usually spawns. But in this case, for some odd reason, they did not spawn the enemies. They ended up getting stuck in the airlocks. Uh, what we did was, uh, on the wave before, we left one enemy alive. And we just waited for our supers to regen. We waited for our heavy ammo sins to regen. Uh, once all of our stuff regened, we were ready to go. Uh, we started the next round and the enemies didn't spawn. So that made it a little bit easier to deal with these annoying ass fucking enemies here. But pretty much they were locked in the airlock. Uh, at the end of this little part, you're going to see me run over there. You'll see them sitting in the airlock. But just make sure you let all your stuff regen. Take your time. Be patient. You'll get through this wave. Um, hopefully you'll get as lucky as we did and get the enemies not to spawn. Um... You're going to see them right up here. You're going to see some thralls just chilling in the airlock, not coming out. And then we just kill them bitches. But anyways, final fight of the night. Wave 5, the flaming Uruk dildo person, whatever the fuck his name is with his searing flames. Uh, as you can see, some in searing flames, they usually last, I want to say, around 10 seconds or so. Um, you literally just keep jumping up and down to stay alive. But... It was really hard because it was taking about a third of your life every time you hit the ground. So what we came up with uh, was two titans using blessings of the light and alternating. Because the he brings them back pretty fast. He rages before you can get your super. Uh, so if we're not creating bubbles, then we're going to definitely need to jump, jump, jump. You're going to see it where I didn't get my bubble in time and we almost fucking lose because everyone starts dying. But here's where he summons his rage. As you can see, I'm not even close to use getting my bubble back. So he gets his, which gives me two orbs. Gets me real close. And by the time the next one, usually your bubble's back if you get a few kills. But you just, just keep jumping up and down. Blessings of light and you're good to go. Uh, for DPS, we're going solar damage. Um... It is solar burn, so you rock your black hammers, you get your galahorns, all your max weapons, everything you fucking got, and just blast them. Um, I didn't have any more secondary, and I didn't want to waste those last two shots on black hammer for whatever reason. I was trying to use sins, but my time wasn't up. It was getting frustrating. Ugh. But anyways, I'm glad that we finally did get to beat him, because it, it, it was getting a pain in the ass. I guess um, I joined in a little late on these guys, and they were at it for a few hours, uh, three to four hours. So it, it would have definitely been bad if we uh, we lost right here. So luckily we didn't. So as you can see, summons his rage, and I was so close to my fucking bubble, and it didn't come back. And you see fucking three jumps, and I'm fucking about to die. So it was a pain. It was a pain in the ass. So I die. Uh, the other guy dies with me. Um... It was just cyber, cyber pack by himself. Uh, we told him to wait it out so he can get the revive on us. And a fucking wizard comes popping out of nowhere. So definitely be careful. Make sure you guys are getting your orbs up. Uh, if you can have a titan rock, the chest piece that gives them more orbs, that might work out good. Uh, I was using the Helm of Saint-14 to disorient the Thrives as they come rushing because they fucking rush your ass like crazy. I kind of saved the day right here with this fucking Galahorn kill right here. This bitch. <laughs> but anyways, once you get him damn near close to death, shit could get a little, a little frustrating. Uh, I ended up fucking dying immediately because I couldn't fucking get out of this fucking fire dildo. I didn't know what the hell was going on. So luckily, uh, they didn't die. They were able to finish him off. I stayed dead, which was unfortunate. Um... And my man's invisible. We got fucking rockets, grenades, everything going, and boom! Kill that Uruk's fire flaming dildo bitch ass person. Um, it was pretty hard, but it was pretty fun. So I definitely suggest 
getting in there as soon as possible, running through this, and you'll be able to fucking destroy it easily. Uh, you just gotta pick it up, get a hang of it. You see that round only took 10 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I get right in a second when we cut to the treasure room. Cut to the treasure room. <laughs> look at it. Look at this room. This treasure room is beautiful. I, I give them props for this room. This room looks so fucking great. Look at that. I get my motes of light and my rank up to one. Did I miss that chest? I don't even know if I missed that chest. It probably went to my vault, actually. It was the etheric light and a uh, weapon core. So definitely, definitely play this. Definitely get it done. You could do it. We're all level 33s. It can be done. Get yourself two titans and someone to dismantle stuff. Probably a hunter. Hunters are not useless in the prison of elders. And anyone who said they are, you can go fuck yourself. I'm Lip for Happiness and I'm signing out. Peace out, motherfuckers.